In today's video, we're continuing our coverage on Deadpool 3, aka Deadpool and Wolverine. It appears that CinemaCon turned into a San Diego Comic Con last night because they revealed nine minutes of footage for Deadpool and Wolverine. Also, they showed some footage for movies that aren't even coming out this year. Usually, CinemaCon is strictly for footage from movies to the theater owners at said CinemaCon, but it appears that CinemaCon may be the new San Diego Comic-Con from Marvel release. So, yo, what is good, YouTube? What's you here with a video on Deadpool 3? So if you're not around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Kaiju, Monsterverse, Marvel, DC, pop culture-based content that I try to cover personally on a daily basis. Could you subscribe to the channel? Turn notifications on and let me know how freaking excited are you for Deadpool and Wolverine? There is a reason Marvel is hyping into this movie this far out the movie doesn't come out to july it's only april also become a channel member for less than 99p less than one dollar doesn't really give you any benefits but it helps me keep the lights on in the wall stew studio also if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice check us out on instagram.com forward slash wall stew over there to see that beautiful face also if you want to follow me please on my smallest platform which is twitter x.com g over there so when i started seeing tweets that marvel were letting people use their phones i thought that was straight cap but no there actually is footage of some of the deadpool 3 panel at least the bit where sean levy and kevin feige are talking maybe i will overlay the footage i'm not sure because even though marvel allowed you to do it i don't know what they're going to be like on youtube so kevin feige is hyping this into this movie to the point where he's actually swearing it's fascinating because a lot of people like me were skeptical that this hard r was going to be a marvel r but actually it appears that this movie is literally a hard r so kevin feige came on the stage and says that's because deadpool and wolverine is awesome because it's an r red so i can say this kevin feige promises that deadpool and wolverine will get the popcorn buckets and there will be crude and has to ask Deadpool to make it himself. So it's pretty cool. Marvel's been on a massive downer recently. So it's cool that Kevin Feige actually stepped up like the boss he used to be and to actually take control and take responsibility and actually put his face out there because if he's saying it's awesome, then it's probably going to awesome based on the descriptions. And it's pretty cool. So what was actually shown at CinemaCon? Well, so there was Kevin Feige, Sean Levy talking. And then some presentation started now so what is interesting so this came up so the dialogue between deadpool and wolverine deadpool so i heard secret wars is finally going to introduce a phone ring wolverine pushes deadpool out of the frame looks straight into the camera hey bub you in the movie theater turn off your phone that's probably why they said you could use your phone he keeps cursing out the audience for their phone going off interesting because in the behind the scenes footage that i can't use on my channel because i'm not gonna pay to use it wolverine doesn't seem aggressive but this kind of footage here makes it seem aggressive deadpool hops back into the frame hearing him talk that way made his vibrate he concludes nice fourth wall break didn't think you had it in you so i believe maybe this might be the prologue to the actual movie just clarifying it that deadpool will break the fourth wall properly but the description for the actual footage it does appear to be the first 10 minutes of said movie potentially from what everyone is reporting and people i've spoken to personally so let's break it down wade wilson gears up to sell cars in the car riding in the back between two kids he curses about the car whilst describing it and jokes that he doesn't have a lot of vagina sex so yeah deadpool isn't actually deadpool he's giving up deadpool he's a used car salesman, which was actually in the trailer if you had eagle eyes this absolutely offends the family of four peter is back seeing way back at their lockers and it suggests to go back to superheroine because he's not a superhero anymore. Wade says, I'm done. I'm fine with being done. He does admit, is this the life I always imagined for myself? <laughs> no. So it appears most likely that he's broke up Vanessa or he's going through some midlife crisis because that's really what the teaser trailer did show us. Everywhere in New York, Peter and Wade ride back. We're Deadpool. Peter tells him, which Wade disputes. Someone across the street is taking photos of them. And Wade notices it, denying that today being his birthday is throwing him off in his apartment. A surprise party is waiting for him. If this was five years ago, y'all be dead. He jokes. Shatterstar is there, not entertained by Dupinda. Stories blind. 
Ow. Ask Wade about his sales, and he's getting impatient about waiting for money from him. I pray every day the fire finds your body and finishes the job that God didn't have the nuts to do, she tells him. Colossus has been watching The Great British Bake Off. Is that a little reference to them filming in England? I don't know. Nega, Sonic, and Yuku are still together. Blind Owl wants to do and Wade says is the one thing Feige said is off the limits. So it appears that they are making it clear it's hard R. But we already know that Kevin Feige swearing on a public stage. Well, not public, a private stage, I guess you could say. Basically tells you it's going to be hard R. Wade catches up with Vanessa, who is seeing a guy named Dermar. Wade is left sad before talking to the group. But she's only alive because of him. But she was only going to be killed because of him. Been a challenge in a few years, he says. But I'm happy. And that's because of each and every one of you. And this is about how proud I am, how grateful I am to be standing in a room with every single person I love. I'm the luckiest man alive. He makes a wish, blows out the candle, someone knocks on the door. It's the TV8. So it does seem that they are using most of the footage from the start of the trailer or parts of the trailer. Wade thinks they're strippers and that their pruning sticks are for pegging. A pull open and Wade is pulled through it and he wakes up to Paradox sitting across from him. So yeah, it's kind of mostly the trailer stuff, it seems. Now this next bit is a little bit sus because I don't think this movie takes place in the MCU, but it depends because time is loose. Time isn't the same everywhere. So it says this, we're in charge of defending what's known as the sacred timeline, but we've already had Loki season two and that doesn't really make continuity sense, but I guess it depends where it happens. Paradox says, also proceeding to explain, but then is interrupted by Wade. There is a ton of exhibition for a three cool. Is this because I used Cable's time device? Wade says. Now that was in the Fox universe. I don't think this is in the MCU. We don't know. The TVA is aware of the abuse of the timeline, but this has nothing to do with that. Instead, Paradox claims Wade can save the entire timeline. This is so sus. We're really a watchdog organization. We're in charge of defending the sacred timeline. Are they still talking about that? I mean, I guess the people that didn't watch Loki, but realistically, the TVA were left watching the Kangs. They weren't watching the sacred timeline anymore because what the loki doing this doesn't make continuity sense in my opinion you've been chosen uh yeah but he's not the chosen one is he that logan oh sh maybe i shouldn't have said that you've been chosen for a higher purpose one that could save the entire sacred timeline when is this taking place a lot of people said it's taking place post loki season two but isn't loki holding everything together himself interesting i suppose i'm going to marvel see how cinematic this is with a load of indiscriminate cameos wade asks paradox tease up footage of captain america on the screen wade salutes them and presumably it's actually the captain america chris evans because we kind of see this in the trailer a clip of thor hovering over loki dying in thor 2 sees deadpool replacing loki and wade is terribly concerned and confused Paradox believes he's ready to leave his timeline and join the world he has always wanted to. So this implies what they're in the Fox verse and then they come to... I don't believe any of this movie's taking place in the MCU. Comment down below if you think I'm wrong. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei, Wade says. I'm a messiah. I'm Marvel Jesus. Wade runs to the camera, pulls the mic into the frame. He headbutts the lens. It shatters. He grabs the microphone saying, F Fox. I'm going to Disneyland. He gets a whole new suit in another room with a man with a stylish beard and some extra booty spanks. He now has adamantium katan. Yo, yeah, that implies that Wolverine and Deadpool are going to fight. Yes, your underwear is getting tighter, Wade declares. The footage cuts to another scene. Wolverine and Deadpool are riding together. Deadpool mocks his suit. The X-Men make you wear that. He asks, friends don't let friends leave the house looking like they don't play for the Los Angeles Rams. Logan responds, shut the f up. Interesting, pretty cool. So just like I thought, there really wasn't that much new footage, but it kind of gives us a play-by-play -play of where everything takes place. Interesting that Disney's allowing them to use the word cane, uh, to swear, break the fourth wall quite extremely, to the point where there is other descriptions where it seems like Paradox is also breaking the, the fourth wall as well by saying, oh, do you want to be avenge? And stuff like, there's one bit where I read where it says, 
marvelized and stuff like that so it seems like deadpool isn't going to be the only person who breaks the fourth wall so overall i think it's pretty cool footage they do tease secret wars but ryan reynolds in the first trailer when he asked you jackman yo do you want to be in my movie he's like yeah sure so it's cool that they're getting deadpool and wolverine to kind of talk about secret wars but that doesn't predominantly mean either and or will be in it but overall the people that were there were very hyped about what was said the fact that kevin feige was there says that maybe they're taking this serious which is pretty cool really surprised they're treating this movie like it's a comic-con because they do have a yay time before the movie comes out but at the same time it doesn't really ruin much but at the same time i still think paradox is going to be some kind of protagonist some kind of villain yeah i know cast nova is supposed to be the overall villain professor x's sister who was in the womb of him but realistically this still doesn't reveal that much which is interesting because of all the footage that's out there of all the, the information all the descriptions and stuff that's out there realistically it doesn't really reveal that much more that than we already know of course, we knew they were going to reenact scenes from previous movies, like the Thor scene that's in the movie, Thor crying, not really Thor, looks like it's a repurposed shot. And, and then he's like, yo, yeah, yeah, that's not, yeah, that's in the future. So that's interesting. So there are bits here and there that, to me, Im imply this, this movie isn't taking place after Loki season two. It doesn't really matter where it takes place. It's not all going to happen like concurrently, but seeing as we're in a multiversal saga, it would make sense if this movie was set after Loki season two. And from everything I've been told and everything I've read from said panel, it still seems to me like this movie is not taking place in the MCU at all. Maybe it will here and there. They also had footage for Captain America 4 with the new Captain America that no one actually has accepted yet. Now, what's interesting about this is this movie comes out next year. They are literally reshooting the whole movie. And I'm all for Marvel getting being great again. But when you've got people saying, Feige is balling. Captain America 4 is in the same vein as the Winter Soldier. And the footage looks like it's nailed that. And it's like a political thriller. But at the same time, it's like you're reshooting the whole movie, lads. You want me to believe that Captain America 4 looks great. You're reshooting the whole movie. They did show some footage off, to be fair. But again, it's using Harrison's Ford star power that he doesn't really have. So from a clip today at C CinemaCon... Harrison Ford, Thunderbolt, Ross gives a little wink to the audience that there has been an actor change for the role by saying, I had to shave the moustache. Interesting that of all the stuff they decide to show off, they use the Harrison Ford scene. So in the actual dialogue in the scene that was shown, it said this. Captain America Brave New World. The clip that was shown follows Sam Wilson, a.k.a. Anthony Mackey, meeting Thunderbolt, Ross, a.k.a. Harrison Ford, who is now the president at the White House. Ross is asking to meet Wilson so he can reunite the Avengers with a new Captain America at the forefront. He's looking to unite forces, but he might have some alter motives. Yeah, he's maybe Red Hole. He wants to form the Dark Avengers, unknown to everyone else. During a meeting where Ross is presenting this plan to a crowd with Sam in attendance, a mystery villain takes over the speakers and controls the mind of the secret service agents full chaos and suits which leads us to a montage of different action set pieces of the film it's interesting though why they show this off because they're literally reshooting the whole well okay they're reshooting like 60 percent of the movie we see sam getting attacked at the white house using his shield to block himself from multiple secret service agents trying to tase him we see shots of Sam Wilson and Torres in action together. Everything builds up to a tense confrontation between Sam and Thunderbolt Ross inside the Oval Office, wherein Ross tells him, you're not Steve Rogers, lad. Okay, I didn't lad myself. After a long pause, Sam says, you're right, I'm not. Finally, we see Sam suit up in the new Captain America suit, which is more silver and blue than blue and white i mean it sounds pretty interesting like i think all the captain america movies are, are sick but it's hard because not a lot of people have accepted the new captain america yet so to give him his own movie even though we had his tv show where he became captain america and a lot of people think i'm just being biased i'm not i literally read comments on the internet i look on reddit i look on twitter I look what everyone is saying and most people say the same thing. It's just y'all don't have the balls to say it 
on a YouTube channel, but I do. So I'm looking forward to Captain America 4. Whatever changes they make, let's hope it is. And they are changing so much to the point where they're taking some villains out that are in it. But it is interesting how some images were revealed as well, which is cool. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing whatever Harrison Ford can do. Are we going to get the Red Hulk? We don't know because they are literally changing the whole movie. But the fact that they've shown that at CinemaCon, when CinemaCon's usually just for movies coming out this year they also changed the name maybe have had thunderbolts asterisk where the title was slightly different so yeah they treated CinemaCon more like a san diego comic-con which is it yeah it's interesting so as we know deadpool 4 comes out this year in july captain america 4 comes out next year thunderbolts allegedly comes out next year and fantastic four allegedly comes out next year but we don't know they're supposed to be shooting fantastic four later this year in the summer in England, y'all, they film everything in England to save freaking money. That's why they shoot stuff in England. It's to save money. Yeah, so Kevin Feige himself did confirm that the filming starts in a couple of months. Kevin Feige spoke about the Thunderbolts, kind of. The official title, we won't talk about the asterisk until after the release. Ooh, interesting. So Feige, I'm allowed to say that. It's all right. Kevin dropping F-bombs at CinemaCon. It's freaking wild. So like always, guys, let us know. What do you think about the Deadpool 3 footage? Do you think Paradox is overall villain? Are you hyped for it? Has it raised your expectations? So like always, guys, I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.